preparing foster children for visits with birth parents. Social worker visits with children in foster care are essential to the safety and well-being of the child. Preparing the child for visits with their birth parents is an essential element of permanency planning. She's not going to come, is she? And what did she say? She's coming. She's afraid. But she's been working really hard to show you that she's finishing some of those things that we put into your service plan so that hopefully okay. you'll be able to return home. Now, is there anything that you'd like me to ask your mom during the visit? Well, you know, I'd like to ask her why she's coming to this visit after all the ones that she's missed already. All right, we can plan for that. Let's, let's plan in case she doesn't come. Let's say that we'll wait no longer than 15 minutes and then we'll cancel the visit if she's not able to arrive. Okay, sounds good. And just because she doesn't arrive, you need to understand that it doesn't mean that you're not important to her. And when I met with her this morning, she was very eager. She was looking forward to seeing you. Why? And tell me why again. Try to anticipate the child's concerns and talk about them. Children may not understand reunification and permanency issues. They may have feelings of guilt, uncertainty, fear, or anxiety in anticipation of visiting birth parents. Explore these topics with the child in order to prepare the child for their visit. Help the child prepare to have an active role in the visit. Make a plan about what they can take along to show their birth parents. Talk about what they might want to say to their parents. Assess potential safety and well-being needs for the visit. So before I leave, I'd like to ask you to do something for me. I'd like you to pick a code word, a word that you could tell me in case you feel like you need to end the visit. Clearly communicate the plan for the day with the child. Now, I might end the visit to protect you if, for example, your mom becomes angry or she starts blaming you for things or if you seem uncomfortable, if you're not talking to your mom or talking to me, then I might end the visit early just to protect you. But as it is right now, your visit is scheduled from 2 to 3.30, okay? I'll say pink. I hate pink. Okay, pink. That works. Yeah, be good. All right. Assess the child's emotional and practical needs post-visit. Talk about issues or concerns that arose during the visit. Review services offered and reassess the pattern and frequency of visits. Plan for permanency. You know, I was really surprised how worried my mom seemed, and I thought it was just me. You two really seem to miss each other. Plan the next visit. What do you think about her suggestion that you spend some time together this weekend at your grandma's house? Absolutely. Saturday. You know, it was a good visit today. Good, good. Well, then you can call me um, on Monday or okay. you can email me or I'll just plan to pick you up after school like we had talked about. Sounds good.